Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. I'd like to start by thanking our uh, town DPW and also our school facilities and custodial teams for their work in preparing our schools to open today as we navigate the first winter storm that occurred sort of during school hours. So uh, just a huge shout out to those teams as I know they worked uh, early in the morning throughout the day to make sure again, schools were safe for opening. So thank you to everyone in DPW and also to our facilities and custodial staff for their uh, efforts over the past 24 hours. Um, this week, we have two updates and also uh, one shout out. First updates around CPACs. You'll see in the written newsletter, a uh, update to a uh, updated CPAC flyer. Four items in the CPAC update. One, uh, information about the lottery for swim buddies, which is the Burbank YMCA's uh, new adaptive swim lesson program. Two, the slides for from the January 17th presentation with Lisa, attorney Lisa Kukier around uh, special needs planning, uh, which would provide topics on wills, guardianship, custody and special needs trusts and more. Three, you'll see a request for three to four parents to serve on a committee to help student services uh, look at the uh, implementation of program review recommendations. And that would be meeting uh, about every other month over the next year. Uh, and then lastly, an upcoming event around uh, bullying and what parents need to know, which is a virtual parent training. So we had all that information is in the written newsletter. Uh, be sure to check that out. Second update, uh, it comes from our health service department. So health service department, there's a, some written updates in the newsletter, wanted to flag sort of four things for the community. One, uh, just asking families to continue to monitor for symptoms for both COVID and flu as we continue to see cases in our schools. Two, reminding families of our testing protocols that we do continue with symptomatic COVID testing in schools. And we have uh, extra uh, take-home test kits if families need those, families and staff. Uh, three, uh, upcoming vaccine clinics. There's a vaccine clinic on both uh, January 20th and February 3rd, link to sign up in the written newsletter. And then also uh, informing families that we will be transitioning to a new health software system. Uh, you'll be receiving an email about this, uh, but this will allow uh, parents to directly message school nurses, update their child's um, emergency contacts, medical conditions, uh, and securely upload medical documents uh, to their child's health record. So more information to come, you'll receive an email about that. Uh, I'd like to close by giving a shout out to uh, all of those involved with uh, Monday's MLK Day uh, event here at RMHS, which you know was a collaboration between the annual collaboration between the town and the schools. Um, and it was a really powerful event for our entire community. I'd like to give a special shout out to some of our students who I think really shine during the event. Um, of course, to Jeremiah Stanford and Sophia Ortons for emceeing the event, uh, and also then our RMHS Jazz Ensemble, our RMHS Mixed Choir, and our Students of Color and Allies for Equity, Justice, and Inclusion. Uh, I think their leadership, their advocacy, uh, and sort of their organization in this event, I think helped put together something, again, a really um, powerful event for our entire community. So thank you to all those in the town who helped support, and a special shout out to all of our students uh, for their passion, for sharing their talents, and again, for their advocacy. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Go Rockets.